Hello beautiful peoples, welcome back to my channel, in this video, we are going to creating an intro like Cinecom.net. If you are new to my channel please consider subscribing. This is what we are creating today. Let's start our video. First I am going to adding rectangular shape for background. Fit this shape into canvas size. Now go to colors and light. Select gradient. Select second gradient type. Now select colors you like. Now adjust these points as shown. Rename it as background. Now add arc shape. Tap on edit shape. Increase radius value as shown. Now go to borders and shadows. Change stroke color to white, and adjust stroke width. Again tap on edit shape. Adjust start and end values as shown. Now duplicate this layer. Hide it, actually we don't need this. Now select this layer and tap on edit shape. Now add start keyframe at first frame. Move to one second forward and add another one. Now at this keyframe adjust start value as shown. Now we have this kind of linear animation guys. Edit your keyframe curves as shown. Now we have this. Now go to move and transform. Add rotation keyframe here. Also here. At here, adjust rotation value to minus 180 degrees. Edit your keyframe curves as shown. Now we have something like this. Now duplicate this layer. Increase radius value of this shape and decrease stroke value. Now start this layer from here. Now duplicate it. Bring it to top. Delete these keyframes. Delete rotation keyframes also. Now hide this layers. Let me keep this layer here. Move it here. Select this layer and go to effect, add radial wipe effect to this layer. Increase count value up to 16%. Increase progress value is shown. Now duplicate this layer. Rotate this layer is shown. As you can see guys, we can't seeing anything. Delete this layer. Select this layer and tap on this grouping icon here. Now duplicate this layer. Now rotate this layer as shown. Again duplicate this layer and rotate it as shown. Do same, until we get a dot circle. Now select all these layers and group them. Now unhide these two layers. Now adjust the size as shown. Now duplicate this layer. Increase this layer size. Now change this shape color into black. Now add vector drawing layer. Now draw a path on shape.
Go to Colors and Fill, select No Fill. Now go to Borders and Shadows. Enable Stroke here. Select any color you like. Increase Stroke Width. Make sure Stroke covers the shape. Now add Drawing Process Effect to this layer. Add End Keyframe at the first frame of this layer. Now move to one second forward. And add another one. Now at this keyframe, decrease end value as shown. Edit your curves as shown. Now duplicate this layer. Hide it for a moment. Now add start keyframe here. Now at here increase start value as shown. I think this keyframe should here. Now edit your curves as shown. Trim it here. Now select these two layers and tap on this second icon here. I think we have to trim this layer also. Now we have this. Now unhide this layer. Adjust size as shown. Hide it for a moment. Now we will rotate this shape. Now unhide this layer. Now select these two layers and tap on this second icon here. Now we have this. Let me trim it here. Now import your logo. Adjust your logo size. At one second, add rotation and scale keyframe to your logo. Also add here. Now here, decrease size as shown. Now here, rotate it as shown. Now smooth your keyframe curves as shown. Now add line. Adjust points as shown. Change stroke color to white. Adjust stroke width as shown. Keep it here. Let me adjust this point little much. Now add drawing process effect and animate it. Add shadow to this line. Now duplicate this line, and rotate it as I shown in the video. Keep it here. Duplicate again and follow me. Duplicate again and follow me. Now add your text. Select any font you like. Drag this dot here. Select any color to your text. Now go to effects and add text spacing effect to this layer. Adjust text spacing as shown. Now add text process effect to this layer. Add end keyframe here. 
Now move to 20 frames forward and add another one. Now at this keyframe, decrease end value is shown. Now edit your curves as shown. Let me hide this layers for a moment. Now add curl effect to this layer. Now adjust it as shown. Now select this layer and group it. Now adjust the rotation and position as shown. Start this layer from here. Now I am going to adding my second text. I am animating only position to this text. Now add shadows to all shapes, except black text and black shape. Download this project template from description, with the template you will understand better. That's it guys, thanks for watching, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Always think creative, have a nice day guys.